Hi everyone, welcome to Jabatiki. In today's video, we'll explore a powerful Hibernate annotation that can make your Spring Boot application even smarter. That is formula annotation. This annotation allow you to calculate derived fields on the fly without executing any database query. For example, imagine you have a product entity where each product has a price and discount percentage. Now you want to compute the discounted price, price after applying the discount for each and every product. Something similar like this. This is the product and the discount percentage is 5. Now after apply the discount, what should be the price? Like this you want to generate for each and every product. So how would you approach this? The straightforward way would be to write the computational logic in your Java code. However, Using formula annotation, you can do it on the fly without writing any extra logic. So let's demonstrate how to use this formula annotation and understand how it can save our significant time and efforts in real time projects. Ok, alright. So without any further delay, let's get started. So to save our time, already I created this product service template where I have just defined the entity, repository, service and controller class. So I will walk you through each and every class. You can see the product entity. We have the field called id name, category, price and discount percentage. Now here our next task to figure out the price after discount. Okay, That field I have not included as part of our entity because I want it to generate on the fly. Now this is the repo. This is the standard repo product repo extend from JPA repository. This is the simple template. Then I have the product service. I have defined two method to save list of product and fetch all the product. So while fetching all the product I have created a mapper class and in this mapper class I have write the logic to evaluate the price after discount. What is the actual price then minus it from price after apply the discount percentage ok this is the simple logic to figure out price after discount. So I have created a product response class then I have defined these fields and I have this field called price after discount and I am evaluating it and returning the required response. So if you go and check the product response this is the class. Fine. Now let's run the application and test whether we are getting the desired output or not. Then we'll move on and understand how can we leverage this writing the custom logic using our formula annotation. We no need to write separate method to evaluate the discount price. Any aggregate function you want to perform, you can directly play with the formula annotation rather than use your extra brain. Okay. So let's run it, then we'll validate. Just go to the main class. Just run the application. So you can see here, application started on port 9191. Now if you'll check the record in DV, select star from product. We have these many 10 products. Each product have their own price and discount percentage dynamically. So what we want? We want to evaluate the price after discount. On top of triple nine, I want to apply the five percent discount. Okay. Now let's check the result and we'll see. Just go to the browser. Since I have added the swagger, I can directly use that localhost nine one nine one swagger ui dot html. So I want to fetch all the products. Okay. Just try it out, click on execute. Can you see here the result we have received? This is the price, this is the percentage count, and the total price after discount. Then, if you will check for other product, see here 
this is the product whose price is 1349 and we are applying the discount percentage 10 after we evaluate the discount the price is this so all the product we are able to generate the price after discount but for that what we have done here if you check the mapper class in mapper we have write the additional logic this kind of thing where you want to evaluate the field dynamically based on the field available on your entity then you no need to write any additional logic so for that what you can do you can simply use the formula annotation it will save your lot of time even that field what you will define in your in your entity will not be persist to db don't worry i will give you the clear demo of it now let's see how we can use the formula annotation so just go to your entity then here i'll define a field private let it be double then here i can use at the rate formula can you see here org hibernate dot annotations just use that then inside that formula you need to provide the expression to evaluate the logic here what you want to do you want to figure out the discount price so you can play with these two attribute right what is the exact price and what is the discount percentage then if you do if you will play these two attribute you can easily evaluate the price after discount so that is the simple logic you can define the expression the price actual price minus price into what is the discount percentage divided by 100 okay just formatted little bit for better visibility fine this is the actual price and this is the price after apply the discount percentage dynamically then subtract it from the original price that is what your price after discount makes sense now since we are evaluating this value on the entity directly which will be generated on the fly without persisting this particular attribute in your dv i can do small changes in our service right i don't need all these mapper kind of thing let's remove it it will return me the product object which is nothing my entity just use that now where you are using this change it to the product then in controller right okay this is the controller this is the service all good now i am not using my mapper logic what what i write manually to evaluate the uh, discounted price now this will be generated by the formula annotation now let's run it and we'll validate okay so all good now let's restart the app the changes are very minimum here so if you check only we have defined okay this is the field i want to generate dynamically since this is just aggregate function use this particular expression and as part of the expression we have provided the field which is available in my entity can you see here if i will do something like price one it will fail because you must need to provide the proper attribute name which is there in your entity so application started now again go to the swagger just refresh the page now if i will do the get product try it out click on execute are you getting the result price after discount this is the new field which we added in our entity right so you can see here for all the product we have this particular value now to validate whether really it is generate on the fly or not let's check the generated sql query select each attribute then can you see here p1.0 price to, eva to evaluate the price after discount it executes the expression what you have provided directly from the db query hope this makes sense so what it does the attribute which annotated with the formula he will consider as consider this as a transient attribute 
and based on the expression what you have defined on top of that annotation will be evaluate as a SQL expression on the fly. Can you see here? Okay. Now to just give you the proof that this field will be not persist, what I can do, I will just delete the table. Okay. So just go to the database schema, then what is the table name? Product. Now if I execute, table is not present. So let me restart the app, let it create the table, then manually I will add few records to the table and will validate. So you can see here, it create the table. Now if you will check here, if you will just refresh it, you can see the table created, but no record here, right? So just go to the swagger and we have an endpoint called add list of products right let's use that just try it out let me add list of product same product only i already exported from the dv i'm using the same product see here what i'm giving category discount percentage name and price price after discount i have not defined id i have not defined because that will be auto generated all good click on execute you can see here the record got inserted can you see here initially the price after discount is zero because this value is not persist to the dv to validate that just do the select star from product p that field is not there can you see that attribute price after discount no hence it proved that that formula annotation attribute will not be persist to your dv okay now let's call the gate api to check whether it is evaluate the uh, discount percentage or not just click on execute can you see the result each product have their price after discount okay so you can use this formula annotation to evaluate any aggregate function on the fly let's say you have date of birth and you want to evaluate age of that particular person you can use the formula annotation okay now i am giving one assignment to you you just give a try to play with the formula annotation to fulfill that requirement imagine you are an it employee and your management decided to call all the employee to visit the office twice in a week but again what they are doing they are, they are calculating your working hour okay you are going two days in a week that is fine whether you are staying eight hour per day or not they just want to evaluate so your manager asks you hey can you please write this program for me so in that case for example i have a table called employee work log okay now can you see here this is the id dynamic and department this is the employee id currently i have only one employee record which is 1001 and on the day fourth he worked for five hour he do, he just did the swipe in and swipe out and the total number of hour present in the office is five and next day it is seven next day it is eight like that there are tons of employee you will find different different entry here now what is your task? Your task is to evaluate employee working hour. Okay. Evaluate employee working hours by employee ID. If it is greater than, if let's consider two days in a week, right? So 8, 8, 16. So if it is greater than 16 in a week, well and good if it is less than 16 then you need to trigger an email that is that is different story you no need to focus on sending the email you just use the formula to evaluate the total hour present by the employee or total employee working hour by employee id okay this is a simple thing already i have provided the schema you can see here you can create a entity called 
employee work log or employee and you can take the id which is the auto generated and then department then employee id this you this you need to keep unique okay then you can add a field called hours and name of the employee and work date on what on on what date he just uh, what i can say swipe in or out or what you want to track the uh, hours okay like this you can create the entity and you can take a field called total work hours then you can use the formula annotation on top of it okay so already i, I have given lot of hints you just give a try so this is what you can play with the formula annotation to dynamically compute the fields based on the uh, field available in your uh, entity or in your table okay so this annotation looks simple right this will definitely save you a lot of times and it will boost your performance of your application okay so just give a try and let me know in case if you have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept